Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. Uh, we're going to talk about AI. We're going to talk about uh, Google getting busted for, I guess, showing its bias with, with AI. Apparently, the developer of Gemini had bias against white people, and all of the images generated with Gemini well, not not historically accurate. Let's let's put it that way. People showing images of uh, you know they're asking for a redhead on Gemini, and it's a black person with red hair. They ask for George Washington, and it looks like the cast of Hamilton. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there was some some clear bias. Gemini apparently taken offline if you were asking for uh, you know pictures of uh, certain kinds of people. And then Elon Musk, I guess, uh, talked to somebody from Google for like an hour. And then they found out that the, the guy that was in charge of it apparently was uh, ranting about uh, uh, white people and diversity not too long ago. You know, so <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about this. This is one of the, the, the big dangers of AI, right? People are uh, uh, angry about AI for a number of reasons. Uh, chief among those reasons, the job situation. Uh, AI is set to replace a lot of jobs, especially in journalism and in creative fields. But you should also be concerned, I think, about what kind of information we're getting back from AI. I think AI in and of itself, uh, you know, is a very useful technology, provided the AI has not been programmed to have biases. And we're seeing a lot of this. Chat GPT lately in the last year, is uh, showing its bias. If you ask it certain questions, it does not want to answer, or it will lecture you. You know, if you, if you ask it to to uh, tell you certain things, or um, you want to comment on a current event, which you can do with version four, it'll actually use Bing to go out and search for information. But it will make sure that it, that you know, you know, where it stands, where the uh, the artificial intelligence's allegiances lie. And this is because of the people programming these systems. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, go out to iTunes, go out to Spotify, go out to Amazon Music, wherever you listen to podcasts, and please subscribe to the Clownfish TV Audio Edition as well as Clownfish TV Gaming News. And we are bringing d back with a little bit of a different focus. We're going to have more in-depth conversations on DRES, that's going to be relaunching here in another week or so. So uh, check that one out as well. We're going to be doing lots of podcasts. Uh, so you don't have to look at the stupid cartoon bobbing up and down all the time. You can just just listen. Just listen to my annoying voice. That's what we want. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's talk about this first. This, this was all over the place. Uh, Google says its AI image generator would sometimes overcompensate for race. According to uh, Click Orlando, yeah, uh, Google apologized on Friday for its faulty rollout of a new artificial intelligence image generator, acknowledging that in some cases the tool would overcompensate in seeking a diverse range of people, even when such a range didn't make sense. Yes, uh, show me a typical Scottish person from like the 1800s, <laughs> you know, and you would get, you would get. Uh, very diverse folks. You would get uh, Asian Scottish people. You'd get black Scottish people. They'd all have a little bit of ginger hair or whatever. But uh, yeah, um, it looked like the cast of Hamilton, right? The partial explanation for why its images put people of color in historical settings where they wouldn't normally be where they wouldn't normally be found came a day after Google said it was temporarily stopping the Gemini chatbot from generating any image uh, any images with people in them. That was in response to a social media outcry from some users claiming the tool had an anti-white bias in the way it generated a racially diverse set of images in response to written prompts. It's clear that this feature missed the mark, said a blog post on Friday. A senior uh, vice president of Google uh, who runs Google search engines and other businesses, some of the images generated are inaccurate or even offensive. Well, that's true. Some of them are in the context that they're shown. They actually are offensive. We're grateful for users' feedbacks and are sorry the feature didn't work well. We'll talk about this because uh, Elon Musk apparently had a conversation with them. But this goes back to, I guess, the lead developer. 
is it Jack uh, Krozik? Is that his name? This user on Twitter, uh, Terrible, dug this up from 2018. He's got tweets that said, nah, Jesus only cares about white kids. I'm pretty sure that's in the Bible. Let's confirm with Jeff Sessions. Needless to say, I have experienced none of these things being a, uh, these things being a white man in America. I don't know what this is in response to. Probably uh, uh, something to do with racism, I guess. I don't know. Uh, they may seem like isolated or trivial slights, but the pattern is undeniable. We obviously have egregious racism in the country. But the small shit like this is part of what enables it. So uh, one of the first responses here, A Music says, it's a woke company. First, we got woke mainstream media, then woke search engines, and now woke woke AI. Um, <laughs> so not all systems are like this. And I think that they got uh, called out for this, uh, I think is going to go a long way in uh, them correcting it because they know that people are noticing. According again to Click Orlando, they didn't mention specific examples. But among those that drew attention on social media this week were images that depicted a black woman as a U.S. founding father and showing black and Asian people as Nazis, as German soldiers. The Associated Press was not able to independently verify what prompts were used to generate those images. I think people just put the prompts in. Somebody's like, show me a ginger person. And it was uh, a black person with red hair, which, you know, I guess can happen if they have, uh, you know, those genes or whatever. But that's not probably what the person was going for. Right. And I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to be like, oh, we need to make sure that the results are not homogenous, that they're diverse. But they absolutely positively overcorrected. Now, every image being generated shows historically inaccurate depictions of, of non-white people in sometimes laughable situations. Uh, Google has known for a while that tools can like this can be unwieldy. In a 2022 technical paper, the researchers who developed uh, Imogen warned that generative AI tools can be used for harassment or spreading misinformation and raise many concerns regarding social and cultural exclusion and bias. Those considerations informed Google's decision not to release a public demo of Imogen or its underlying code the researchers added. No, instead, they just went in and made sure that uh, it doesn't generate white folks when it doesn't make sense to have non-white folks in the image, I guess. I don't know. Since then, the pressure to publicly release generative AI products has grown because of a competitive race between tech companies and uh, chat, uh, chatbot uh, chat GPT, which is doing images now. There are several companies out there doing AI art, AI images. And uh, curiously enough, most of them don't have this issue. So this does seem to be something specific to Google. Uh, the worst I've gotten from like chat GPT is if you ask for like a Disney character, it's like, no, I can't, I can't do that. Why not? Well, I can't tell you why I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm like, is it because I said Mickey Mouse? Because I'll just, I'll just go to your competitor and they'll give me Mickey Mouse. They'll give me Mickey Mouse doing horrible things. But if you don't want to, that's okay, chat GPT. That's your, that's your prerogative, right? Um, the problems with Gemini are not the first to recently affect an image generator. Microsoft had to adjust its own designer tool several weeks ago when some were using it to create deep fake pornos of Taylor Swift and other celebrities. These two things are not exactly the same, but okay. Uh, when we built this feature in Gemini, we turned it to ensure it doesn't fall into some of the traps we've seen in the past with, with uh, image generation technology, such as creating violent or sexually explicit images or depictions of real people. No, you can just put um, non-white folks in Nazi uniforms and that's cool. <laughs> you know, whatever. That's, you know, that's what you're doing because our users come from all over the world. We want it to work well for everyone, which I understand what they were going for, right? But they obviously missed the, the mark. And it's hilariously bad. Uh, it's hilariously bad. So bad that Elon Musk got involved. I guess he had an hour long chat with somebody at Google. So here's the diversity scandal according to CCN.com, not to be confused with CNN.com. The center of Google's uh, latest AI publicity disaster sits a series of Gemini outputs that misrepresent the racial or gender identity of historical figures. The images gained their first large audience courtesy of the X account and wokeness, but were soon picked up by the New York Post and other popular media outlets. Yes, we have a female uh, Indian pope. I remember her. 
uh, uh, Pope what's her name? Don't you remember her? I don't know. Uh, or just one black founding father or a single female Pope, the outputs might be put down to machine hallucinations and forgotten about. However, critics pointed to repeated instances of Gemini inserting an unrealistic diversity factor into historical scenes. Responding to the criticism, Google acknowledged missing the mark. So here's what happened with Elon Musk. Enter Elon Musk, who has a competing product and an axe to grind. Uh, starting with a post sharing the New York Post Gemini coverage on Thursday, Musk has barely taken a break from Google bashing since. Tracing. Oh, my God. Um, the Tesla CEO decried Gemini's insane, racist, anti-civilizational programming, which he views as an extension of Google's general approach to content moderation. Uh, on occasion, Musk bundled Google together with Meta and OpenAI in contrast with the maximum truth-seeking X. He accused the company's AI rivals of pushing a woke, quote-unquote, agenda. Now, to be fair, they are his competitors. So, of course, you know, he's going to say this. But it is interesting that we've seen more and more political bias from AI, probably somewhat in response to people trying to get the AI to do things that aren't so good, but it is a machine. It should do what you tell it to do, and it shouldn't be leading you to any political conclusions, especially after people broke it. Uh, chat GPT last year, was it uh, Dan? I think the Dan they do anything now. And now if you put that into chat GPT, it just comes up with like nonsensical bullshit, but they actually had it giving very blunt, uh, sometimes dark answers to current events, uh, situations. Like you'd ask it, it'd tell you basically what it thought and it didn't hold back. There was no filter. And, uh, well, we had to plug that hole, right? So now it just, it acts like a fool, uh, when you, uh, you put that in. So, um, yeah. So Musk apparently had like an hour long conversation with, uh, with somebody at Google, right? But wait, it gets worse. <laughs> So, so as they're being accused of wokeness being injected into Gemini, Reddit just struck a $60 million deal allowing Google to train the AI models on its posts. Reddit. So now Gemini is going to pair it back. Reddit. <laughs> this is probably the worst case scenario. This is one of the worst places to go looking for an unbiased opinion, right? Uh, as Disclosed TV put up this, Justin, Google has been granted access to Reddit's content for training AI models, citing access to fresher information. Uh, this person here, Simon, you know, behind the scenes of Reddit, this is basically where you're gonna be getting your information from, guys. This is gonna be feeding the AI right here, Redditors. Uh, this person here, uh, Dre Franzer memes. Reddit is one of the most left biased social media platforms on the planet. The time of Google and Reddit is not an end. It needs to be shuttered. I don't know about that, but it's, it's, it's not going to do anything for Gemini to be more unbiased. Let's put it that way. Reddit is definitely biased toward, uh, the left. I mean, everybody knows this. Um, it's no secret. I mean, you're not allowed to have your, your, uh, your hot takes over there, unless they're approved. Uh, there are certain message boards over there, certain um, subreddits that you're not allowed to talk about anything like Gamergate or Comicsgate or any of that stuff. Objectively, they've deleted uh, threads on Trump. They've deleted threads on you know right-wing personalities. So there definitely is a bias over there. Now, if you're looking for information on how to fix your computer, it's a great place to go. Uh, you know, cause left or right, you know, a lot of the guys over there are huge nerds and they know how to fix shit, but yeah, it, you know, as far as political conversation, it's absolutely positively left leaning and it's going to be feeding the AI. So I don't see it getting better anytime soon guys, but there you go. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes to see if Google actually does correct, correct it, or at least tone it down a little bit. But I think this is a whole nother layer that is being added to the conversation around AI is, you know, is the information we're getting from the computer. We used to be like, oh, it's just basically a funhouse mirror. Our art and our text being 
uh, distorted and fed back to us. It's being scraped from someplace else. And now we have to worry about political biases being scraped from someplace else, whether it's just, you know, reading Reddit or whether or not it's, it's, you know, the developers themselves injecting it into uh, the algorithm. Who knows? But there it is. I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.